Thank you, Madam President, and thank you, members of the Security Council. It is very difficult, if not impossible, to fully convey the indignity, the outrage, and the pain of a people denied the benefit of human rights for more than 50 years. Here, in these chambers, it is hard to articulate the flesh and blood meaning of the exposed lives Palestinians endure under occupation. But no matter how hard it is to describe, the real hardship is that of facing such an intolerable existence day in and day out, trying to live and raise a family and develop a community under these conditions. It has been almost two years to the day since I last had the honor of speaking before the council. Two more years of occupation, two years in which the routine of the first 49 years of occupation continued. Since I last spoke here, 317 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli security forces and 13 Israelis have been killed by Palestinians. Israel has demolished 294 Palestinian homes and has continued making arrests on a daily basis, including of minors. Israeli settlers have vandalized and uprooted thousands of olive trees and grapevines. Israeli security forces have continued to regularly enter Palestinian houses, sometimes coming in the dead of night to wake children, register their names, and take their pictures. Palestinians have lost countless hours waiting at checkpoints with no explanation. And so the routine of the occupation marches on.